Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Blade Runner. See, in case you don't know, I have, I have already played this game before. Not the specific enhanced edition developed by and published by Nighttime Studios last month on June 23rd. Originally developed by Westwood Studios and published by Virgin Interactive back in 1997. I played the original version on GOG over two years ago in May 2020, about six months after the game became digitally available on that platform in December 2019. And now, finally, after a long wait and delays, we have the Enhanced Edition. Now, I know that the, re I know that the re reception of this Enhanced Edition hasn't been all that positive. From what I have seen and read, the graphics are not a whole lot better than in the original. In fact, some scenes look even worse than in this version. And I think the main reason for that is the fact that Nighttime Studios didn't have access to the game's original source code, which I believe was lost during EA's acquisition of, of Westwood Studios. Thanks, EA. Anyway, the reason why I'm playing this version and this game in general for the second time is to not only to compare this to the original, but also to see how much different a second playthrough of Blade Runner can be. In my first playthrough I got the human ending, where our Blade Runner protagonist, Roy McCoy, is human and a, and a dedicated Blade Runner. This time I tried to get the replicant ending, where we turn out to be a replicant, so I try to be sympathetic towards our, rep uh, towards our repli replicant brethren and cruel or indifferent towards humans. That's how I think we can get that ending anyway. And once I'm done with this playthrough, I start working on my thoughts on Blade Runner video. I've been wanting to do that video for a long time, but decided to wait for this en enhanced edition to come out. So without further ado, let's go back to the futurist well, the year in this game is 2019, so it's not really that futuristic, but a dystopian cyberpunk detective adventure nonetheless. Let's go. New game. Oh, I didn't remember that there was difficulty in this game. Medium, hard, easy. Um, Let's just go with the... How is this game any harder? Maybe the, sh uh, maybe the shooting will be harder in this game? I don't know, but let's just go with the medium difficulty. I don't think a, I don't think a difficulty really matters too much in this game, but I could be wrong. Player personality, normal, surly, erratic, user choice, polite, normal. Uh, I guess we go with the user choice. User choice is, is usually the best, I think. Uh, it, the game actually gives us dialogue uh, options, so we can so we can decide that that what our mood currently is. So let's start with this. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced uh, robot evolution into the Nexus phase, a, a being virtually identical to a human, known as, re known as a replicant. The Nexus, rep the Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility and at least equal in, in, in intelligence to the genetic engineers who created them. Replicants were used off-world as slave labor in the hazardous e exploration and colonization of other planets. After a bloody mutiny by Nexus 6 combat team in an off-world colony, replicants were declared illegal on Earth under penalty of death. Special police squads Blade Runner units had ord orders to shoot to kill upon detection any trespassing replicant. This was not called execution, it was called retirement. Because they are not considered real humans. Los Angeles, November 2019. So, roughly three years ago, I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one 
little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humanity. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. VR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of domain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for Rep Detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slimming tonight, Slim. I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse. They never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What's Guza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Okay, well, now we are finally in the game. That intro was longer than I remembered. But anyway, if there's anything positive that I can say about this uh, Enhanced Edition uh, right now is that the uh, is that the CGI cutscenes actually look uh, better 
and at least a little bit better. They also move in 60 FPS instead of 30 FPS, but the game itself r runs in 30 still, which is a disappointment to say the least. And also the character models also look just as blurry and shitty as they do in the original. So that's also a big disappointment for me personally. I, I, re I was really excited to see that how they were going to uh, enhance and, re and remaster their character models. I mean, these background characters look fine. They're not really characters, they're just part of the background, essentially. But these actual 3D characters look still just as shitty as they do in the original. Okay, but anyway. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Horse chrome, okay. Let's, can we get to, get to our inventory? Or, hmm, let's not take out the gun. Uh, how did I access my inventory again? Well, maybe it's not relevant yet. Let's talk to this cop here. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Well, let's go and have a look at that site. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Well, you have very good... And you're very uh, observant. Very good detective, if, if you can de if you can determine all of that by uh, from mere mere foot, uh, bloody footprints. But yeah, the, uh, the, cl the closer we get Big to look caliber, at this character, possibly hmm? off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. Oh, I'm I ruined. Oh, totally I didn't. Ruined. I didn't notice that item. I just clicked on it by accident. But anyway, I was about to say that the closer we get to look at these character models, the wor the worse they look. I mean, they're just so bad. I d I don't mind them in the original. I mean, it's a 1997 original version, but I expected more from uh, 2022 enhanced edition. Anyway, so let's talk to Ransitter. Was it? McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. I'm ruined. Well, totally thanks. That, that's ruined. A, that was a very detailed description. Can we talk to you? Talk to you some more. Mm, yeah, motives. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Berseron colt. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. Mm-hmm. Okay, you mean this desk here? But let's look around first if we can find something else. Although I kind of hope, I kind of ho uh, hope that th that they would have killed this guy too, because 
He's obviously one of those. I'm ruined, totally one of, ruined. One of those men who likes to who likes to spend a little too a little too much time with the young ones, if you know what I mean. Or so it seems like. Hmm. We said a security camera. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of Jinyan's worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that. Mm, are you getting are you getting the film for me? I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. Okay, thanks. Well, let's check out this area. Okay, what do we have here? Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Okay, the items and other interactables stick uh, stick out from the background like like sore thumbs. Um, what is that? Looks like a battery. A candy bar. Oh yes, a candy Yuck. bar. Yuck. Well, isn't that cute? Hmm. I think it says monkeys. And they set up toy. Hmm. A toy dog. Okay. And I can't I can't peek behind this uh, curtain here, apparently. Uh, I think that's everything here. Anything else here before I leave? Doesn't look like it, no. I can't highlight... Oh, and that's how I access my inventory. I just uh, press tab. Okay, so I believe that they have done some changes to this uh, KIA uh, menu. Officer statements, limping footprints, uh, yeah. These are the uh, things that we noticed and and the dialogue that we had uh, in this crime scene. Animal murder, no, murder. Jump to inspect, okay. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Okay, shell casing. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. Hmm, okay. Clue database. All the recordings, objects, video clips. Runs in there's video, objects. Uh, let's do it this way. Objects, candy. Yeah, it doesn't look, <laughs> doesn't look very uh, tasty to me either. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Chrome uh, debris. I think we should get this analyzed uh, back back at the uh, LPD, uh, Los Angeles Police Department, and a toy dog. No comments on this. Okay, what is this? F two crimes. F3 suspects. Okay, F2 crimes. F3 suspects. And the clues. Okay. But no way to highlight any interactives or anything else in this version of the game. Okay, I was in the. I was in the, I wasn't expecting anything like that. And like I said, interactables and items stick out like a sore thumb from the background, so it's not really needed. Okay. It didn't add up. 
animal murders, the lack of any theft. The small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Yeah, I agree. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Mm -hmm. Anything else outside here? Maybe we can ask these people if they saw saw anything. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. <laughs> Maybe we should have told him to do that uh, before we went inside. Now I feel like we have to wait a little bit till he's done. And that's our car. Are you about done? Okay, are you done? Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Hmm, okay. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Hmm, okay, fine. And by the way, folks, let me know if you want me to adjust the volumes in any way. Like the like a like a dialogue, the music, uh, ambient sounds, anything. Okay, but let's leave this uh, crime scene for now. And let's go back to the LAPD. Okay, so that's a police. Dep that's Chinatown. That's where we are right now. McCoy's apartment. So that's our apartment and the police station. Well, let's go to the police station for now and see if we can get this some of this stuff analyzed. At least they have improved the CGI cutscenes, like I said. With the 60 FPS uh, movement. Okay, so... Roof. Yeah, that's Roof. where we are right now. Laboratory. So, to laboratory we go. Oh, wait. Mainframe and shooting range. Mainframe and shooting range. Ground floor. Lockup. Okay, well, laboratory. let's go to the laboratory. Okay, so we talk to this guy. Got anything new for me, Dino? Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. Uh, okay, so we just show, showed him the uh, shell that we picked up from the crime scene, I take it? Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State-of-the-art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinning drivers clutching up to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. Why, thanks. And anything else? Anything else? A piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Hmm, okay. Uh, thanks, Dino. Or, well, the subtitle text box. A text box said Klein. But, anyway. Thanks, buddy. 
mainframe, and shooting range. Okay, let's go to the mainframe. That's where the Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Hmm, okay. Anything else on TV? Oh wait, that we see how we see the scores here. So Steel has the best score so far, and we either haven't, we haven't, we haven't either tried it, tried this yet, or we just suck. Or McCoy has really sucked at shooting. Last run, Bryant, twenty-eight. Okay, and that's Deckard, uh, Deckard from the movie, the Blade Runner movie. Uh, what what year was it again? Eighteen. Uh, not 18, 1986 or something. I I don't know, but it but it came out somewhere in the 1980s. The origin original Blade Runner film. So that's Deckard, played by Harrison Ford. And unfortunately, we won't be meeting Harrison Ford in this game, but we will see some glimpses of him. And in case you don't know, uh, the events of this game take place at the same time as the events of the film. So that's kind of cool. That's Gusa, uh, Bryant. Holden. Uh, Holden is the Blade Runner from the from the start of the Blade Runner film. Uh, the one who was who was doing this. Uh, what, what was it called? Uh, Void Kampf test, I believe it was called. It's a test they use and try to expose replicants from other humans. But anyway, at the start of the film, Holden was doing this Void Kampf test on a replicant, and he got badly injured. and And right now he's at a hospital. And then we got Gaff. The guy who wears the fedora hat and also has a walking stick, I believe. And then we got Steel, the the female Blade Runner we just met earlier. But yeah, we do this uh, later, the shooting range. But for now, let's just leave once I find out how. Ah, there, okay. So let's go to the, uh, the mainframe room. What does it say? Per room? Well, whatever. Here's the computer. So let's see, can I use this? Scanning video disc. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Hmm, okay. So these are the photos that are taken by the by the security camera that runs to this place. Crime scene. All right. Now, let's see if I can remember that what we need to find in this photo. Now, that's a very beautiful looking white tiger. Let's see, what is he doing? Mm, I guess nothing. Anything here? And the poster does say monkeys, but I don't see anything on the desk here. Look at that, what a beautiful tiger. And, and it was killed. What a tragedy indeed. Uh, what do I need to find here again? Hmm. What's that? Hmm. Not sure what I need. What I need to find from this image exactly. And that seems to be a snake. Hmm. I don't see anything that really uh, catches my eye. Okay, well let's let's check the other the other pic picture. Once I uh Okay, we just press that and then Run Setter Crime Scene. Let's check this one. Now, 
I I I know what I know what to look at in this one. Let's take a look at his face. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay. So we got so we got his mock shot. We can't we can't see the other guy behind him because of the shadow. And how about the register plate of the car? Local license plate? Give me a hard copy of that. Okay, and those might be the thing the only thing that would only things that, that we need from this photo. I think, but what about there must be something Run setter crime scene. There must be something in this one uh, in this one as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. But what do we want to find in this in this picture? Something that can help us. We can't see the little girl here. The one with the pink hair either. I don't think. Maybe she's behind uh, some object here. I really can't. I really I don't see her anywhere. Oh, okay. There, there, there was something on the desk. A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay. Anything else? I don't think so, no. But I could be wrong. There's usually more than just one uh, thing of interest in, in these photos in this game. But let's assume that we have found every. Oh wait, is she is she there somewhere? Oh yes, she's there. Hello there, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay, that should be everything. That should be everything. Okay. What Uploading is this? personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Hmm, okay. Didn't really do much for us. But yeah, I think we are done here for now. Yeah, this takes us to the shooting range, I believe. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's try and do this. Why not? Since we are here. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy, Bryant finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through. You bet. You bring your piece. Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. <laughs> I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. <laughs> I'll tell you, it looked like the goddamn 4th of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. Peachy. Okay. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. Okay, can we can we go to the shooting range? Hit the lock, Jack. I guess there ain't no harm in it. Target okay. and shoot all threats. Do not shoot innocents. Confirm target as hostile before shooting. Okay, we do our best. Uh, are they coming? Hmm? 
Oh, shit. Oh yeah, they have to have guns on them. They, they must have guns before I shoot at them. Hmm. Okay, so far so good. Anyone else want some? That guy might have a gun, I think. Yes. I could see that... I could see a tiny bit of... blue there. Shit. <laughs> I think I shot the civilian there by accident. This is not going that great. Shoot. It feels like our gun is a bit janky. Anymore? Mm, that guy should be safe. That guy has a gun. Oh wait. I barely saw the gun in his hands. Luckily we don't need to reload our gun. Son of a... Shoot! He might have a gun. No, I don't see it. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. Alright. Let's go, actually. Can I... Yes, I can run there with a the gun. Yep, you have a gun. Why didn't I shoot? Sometimes he won't shoot. Oh. <laughs> Why did you yeah, fall down from... Oh, you have a gun. Mm -hmm. You got a baby. What about you? You might have a gun. Oh, yo, no, he's a baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shit. This gun feels a bit janky. Oh, it could be my mouse too. My mouse have, ha, has been janky lately as well. But we're not doing, like, terribly. At least, at least we, we should do better than Deckard. His score was 10, I believe. Oh. Mm -hmm. Another guy dropped from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Don't you try to sneak behind me. Shoot, shoot. <coughs> Why don't you freaking shoot? I'm pretty sure that you can hear my a mouse clicking here. And so even you can tell that that he's not uh, sometimes he's just I uh, want to shoot immediately. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. All right. This one should be the last one, I think.
the models look so bad. Okay, come out already. Mm -hmm. You might have a gun. Yes, you have. I didn't want to shoot you. I wanted to shoot that guy behind. But... Hm. Shit. What? Hm. You have a gun. I know that. No. Oh. Which one of you? You uh, no, you have a baby. I thought so. Nice. That went well. Maybe he won't shoot immediately because he just didn't have. Uh, because he he wasn't aiming aiming at he, he he wasn't aiming his gun yet, and that's why he couldn't shoot immediately. Oh. Or something like that, I don't know. Maybe there's a, like a animation thingy, and that's why he didn't shoot immediately when I clicked. Now I can shoot because he's aiming at the target. I could shoot, but I won't because uh, it's a civilian, but still. Okay, now... Okay, I don't know. He, he didn't shoot, even though he was, he wa even though he was supposed to be able to. I don't remember it being this clunky in the original, but I could be wrong. It's been, well, it's been about two years since that, since I played the original. Anyone else want some? Shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't know why he doesn't shoot. Proceed to next station. I just don't get it. Why won't he shoot? It's not because he ran out of ammo or anything. Now where do we go? Um, where do we go? Oh, we can also access KIA by cl by clicking on by uh, clicking on McCoy. Okay, but where do we go? Do we just go back? Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. Hmm, I don't think so. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. Yeah, once I figure out where to go. Um, where do we go from here? Oh, this way. Aren't we back where we started? Maybe not. Okay, now it's it's more responsive for some reason. I don't know why. And now it won't shoot. Shoot! I don't get it why he won't shoot. Oh, son of a... I just don't get it. There was a big patch uh, that was released and not too long after the, this game was released, at least on Steam. I don't know if they have released that patch on GO, GOG as well, but they have fixed some of the issues that the peop that people have, uh, had, some of the bugs that the game had as well. But maybe that patch hasn't... Uh, maybe they haven't Uploaded that patch on the GOG version yet, I don't know. Shoot. Do you have a gun? Yes, you do. 
shoot, shoot, shoot. I click and click, but he won't do a goddamn thing. Completed all sequences. Proceed to exit. Okay, we didn't we didn't do that well. We didn't we didn't really do that well. I don't know why, but he just sometimes he sometimes he shoots when I uh, when I click, and sometimes he doesn't. But we must have done better than Decker at the very least. Oh hey, we did. <laughs> we actually did a lot. We did a lot. We did a lot better than I expected. Holy shit! We even beat Steel. Holy shit! I did not expect that. Damn, these guys really must be terrible shots. I mean, like I said, I was quite bad earlier there because my gun felt like shit. But if but if I did that well, if I got this high score, despite doing that badly in my opinion, and these guys did this poorly, holy shit, our L LAPD Blade Runners don't know how to shoot. And to be fair, uh, Deckard uh, wasn't really that, that great of a shot either in the movie. But well, actually, no, he did. No, he was decent. He was decent. But he always got his ass beaten out of him before he managed to uh, take a shot. Anyway, uh, let's leave. And uh, yeah, I think I should end the episode very soon-ish. Yeah. So first, let's go back to our car here. And let's go to Chinatown and to that restaurant whose chopsticks and uh what was it? What was the other thing that we saw in the in the photo? Well some sort of some sort of paper from this Chinese restaurant here. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. Well, shit. But yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here. And in the next episode, let's talk to the owner of this Chinese restaurant. And hear what he knows about the pink-haired little girl, or this case, in general, maybe. So, so, until next time. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Blade Runner Enhanced Edition.